This is episode 19 of the Online Playmaker Sessions with my fellow Canadian, the wealthy trainer, Mark Lalonde. Welcome to the Online Playmaker Sessions. This is the place for the latest What's Working Now strategies from the best online playmakers, the top marketers, the rising stars who are making it happen right now. Every week, you'll get real, actionable lessons that you can take and apply immediately in your business, delivered in short 20-minute sessions. Our focus is your results. Here's your host, entrepreneur, world-class trainer, and marketing strategist, Norbert Orlowitz. Hello, online playmakers. If this is your first time tuning in to the Playmaker Sessions, thank you for choosing us. And don't forget to subscribe to the podcast on iTunes. And if you prefer video, our YouTube channel at onlineprofitplaybook.tv. As with all of our episodes, we have all the show notes, transcripts, and actionable tips over on the blog. Just head over to www.onlineprofitplaybook.com. You'll also be able to get access to my complimentary five-video tutorial series on building the proper foundation for your online business, as well as several other free trainings, including my Instant Income Multiplier tutorial. And if you're ready to multiply your results fast, check out the premium membership of our online profit playbook, where our guests open up their closely guarded playbooks and walk you step by step through the exact marketing funnels and sales process they use to build their audience, grow their influence, and make sales. Get the coveted online profit playbook today. Just head over to onlineprofitplaybook.com and join the playmakers. Mark Lalonde worked as a successful computer consultant, earning a healthy six-figure income. But after 15 years, the long hours, tight deadlines, and high-pressure work environment took its toll both physically and mentally. Reaching a breaking point, Mark began searching out various business opportunities to regain his freedom. Through several failures, he eventually rediscovered network marketing and within just his first six months in the industry, was able to quit his corporate job. Unfortunately, Mark soon discovered the challenge of growth and momentum with growing his organization and became frustrated at the time and energy required in traditional prospecting. That's when Mark discovered online attraction marketing and how to position himself on the internet to have high-quality prospects seek him out. Since starting out online just last year, Mark has now become a social media and Twitter marketing maverick. He is known for being able to generate hundreds of leads daily through his Twitter and social media strategies and has helped hundreds around the world to do the same. This week's online playmaker, Mark L. Lalonde. All right, welcome back everyone for another edition of the online playmaker sessions. And as as always, I'm excited about this interview. I've been loving the interviews that we've been doing so far and I've got another amazing, excited, passionate, incredible trainer with us here today. The wealthy trainer and a fellow Canuck all the way from Ottawa, uh, Mark Lalonde. How you doing today? I'm so pumped up, buddy. Thanks for having me. Awesome. It's it's my pleasure. My pleasure. Absolutely. I love bringing another Canadian out here just to represent. And uh, you've got some amazing information to share with us. I'm really excited about it. Um, you've mastered some amazing strategies and bringing, bringing in a lot of incredible results that I know a lot of people will want to hear, hear from you about. And uh, we're going to cover a little bit of that here in the podcast. Of course, we're going to dig into your specific marketing playbooks and your marketing strategies and your funnels uh, inside of the premium session for our members. But let's jump right into this, Mark. We're going to get right into it here. What I want to first start off with is I got to take you back a few years because you've been having success online now for several years, but let's go back to the beginnings. How did you get into this industry? What was your background? How did you get involved? And sort of what was like, you know, what was your first year like uh, doing this? Well, it's kind of funny you ask that because one year ago, I didn't even know what a lead was. Oh, awesome. I didn't have a blog. I didn't have content. I didn't have anything. So I, I think a lot of people may like this interview because it's, it's different in that sense. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm, ge- I'm not going to go through my whole big story, but let's just say I wasn't focused in my life. I, I had 21 jobs by the time I was 25, and these were real career choices 
and I kept changing my mind, shiny object here, shiny object there. You know, I started in architectural technology to be an architect in university. So I was like, right when I'm about to graduate, what do I do? I drop out because I want to see what else the world has to offer. One life, right? And I go from that to law enforcement to be a cop, like wow. one spectrum to the other, right? What do I do? I drop out. Then I want to be a chartered accountant. <laughs> accounting. And it's all university stuff here. This is no joke. I was like, and then after that, computer engineering, which ends up being my career, as I'll tell you in a sec. But computers has always been, it's always been my love of programming, specifically programming. I'm the type of guy, like when I was 13 years old, <clears throat> I used to geek it out with my buddy on the Commodore VIC-20. Some of you may remember it. And we used to get the compute magazines and just spend weekends, 16 hour days, like go to bed, kids, go to bed, kids. It's bedtime almost like it's two in the morning and we're just changing the colors on like space invaders while the kids are playing baseball, like outside having fun. So I was, I'm kind of, I'm not a jock, I'm a geek. I, I'm a total geek. So I guess that's where my, com my love for computers and programming started. Yeah. Now, it's just the reason I say I, I was so unfocused is because people say all the time, Mark, you're so organized and focused. And I mean, without even going into the 21 jobs, we'll be here forever. But these were jobs before my computer career, these mm -hmm. 21 jobs. So anything from grocery, retail, warehouses, sales, customer service. I even worked as a cartoonist for a while, a freelance cartoonist, a usher in a movie theater. Personal trainer, I was a certified personal trainer for over 20 years, and it's still my passion, but let's face it, computers is like cha-ching, cha-ching, right? Sure, well, yeah. I mean, we're just going to jump into, yeah, me getting into computers from there forward, because this is about my living my dream now, because I, I am living my dream, Norbert. I mean, right now, my third year anniversary from giving my boss the old boot, is going to be March 18th. So it's a big day. It's my third year. So That's it's like awesome. Congratulations. Months. Yeah. And all of that was made possible because just, we'll start by saying I was in the computer industry as a computer consultant for 18 years, 18 long, stressful, brutal, alcohol induced years. It was probably one of the most stressful jobs you can imagine being a consultant because the times I wasn't a government employee, it's fine. You have the water cooler conversations, you know, you have, you read the paper. How was your weekend, Joe? Fine. But when you're getting paid $800 a day as your per diem, you're going in, you're fixing stuff. You're the genius on site. Now, I'm not calling myself a genius. I'm just saying I've always been good with numbers and I just, I, I just, it was something I loved to do. Mm -hmm. I never had a problem with the job, with the, job i love programming i adore it it's, it's one of my passions i told you i was a geek but it was the structure the bosses the power trips and no time off that kind of stuff it was 70 hour weeks 80 hour weeks with someone breathing over your shoulder that has no idea how to program and he's telling you you're doing it wrong so right. it's just i had enough I think a lot of people can relate to that type of environment if they've been in, in any type of corporate America, you know, work, work, workforce type of environment. So what was, what was the transition? What was the catalyst to get into online marketing um, as a computer programmer? What was that transition like there? Well, here's what happened. I, I was searching for a way to break free from the chains, I guess. So every weekend or every time I had time off, I'd look for entrepreneurial ventures. And I did a few. I did all kinds of little online things. I had an online candle site. I sold scented candles. I all kinds of little attempts to not having to show up at work. Mm -hmm. And it's the day. This will actually be about three and a half years now. It's a little over three years where I found just network marketing, not online marketing yet. This is just like like Amway, basically. Mm -hmm. It was a wellness company. I knew nothing of it. And then I heard of Amway when I was younger, like the pyramid scheme thing, like I've heard of it, but I didn't care much. It's like, stop acting like a robot. You're my friend. You know, your buddies would call you. It's like, be normal. Come on, man. I'm your buddy. 
And what happened was I really looked at it and I looked at the leverage and I'm like, this is crazy. You mean if I recruit someone, I'll make money off that. And, and it just, it was almost like a moment where I said, this is insane. And that's not what made me jump into it. What made me jump into it were the success stories. Yeah. I'm like, these are not fake. I'm, I wouldn't say I'm smarter than that guy because everyone being smart is a relative term. Everyone's mm -hmm. smart in different ways. Yeah. But what I did say is if he can do it, I can do it. Right. Can, and, and these are big numbers at the time. It was, I was just looking at something because I was making about 200,000 a year in computers as a consultant. Really good good money. It was great money, great money. Yeah. But was it worth it? Like, it's just because my father had a massive heart attack like that at 54 years old, no notice. And here I am stressed out of my skull yeah. and i mean i was in my mid-20s when i lost my dad i'm in my mid-40s now so it was kind of like I, I need to find something i love to do it's just not worth it anymore mm -hmm. 200 grand a million bucks a year it's not it's so 200 grand is fine anyways to live off of so I, well of course but yeah. what i was looking for is when i saw the residual portion of network marketing i'm like so you're telling me I'm talking to myself here, but I'm like, so you're telling me that if I make 10 grand this month, which I do, I was making 15 grand a month. I got to work the same thing to make 15 grand the next month. But in this game, if I make 10 grand and I do the same amount of work, well then theoretically I'll be up to 20 grand. And then, and this is just by myself, not counting duplication, nothing. So I'm the type of guy, forget, I, I've done enough research. I'm just going to do this thing. So I found a distributor, no one pitched me or anything. It was a shake, milkshake, oh, milkshake, weight loss shake thing. And I just signed up on a link. The guy calls me, goes, welcome to the team. He's trying, he was trying to kind of coach me. And I was the type of guy, like, just let me do my thing. I'm going to do my own research and uh, just collect your check from what I'll be making. Because I just, I didn't hit it off. I already knew more about the industry by watching YouTube videos. And what this guy was telling me, because I, I was like, I'm not, I'm not harassing my friends and family. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go out. I'm going to hit it in the cold market. And once I make 10 grand a month, they'll come to me. Trust me. Mm -hmm. It's going to, I'm going to work it backwards. So here's what exactly I, what they tell you to not do. They say, uh, don't recreate the wheel. But that's, that's like me. I'm a, I'm a mechanic uh, personality type as well. And that was one of the issues that I had in network marketing is I kept trying to recreate the wheel. And I was like, no, I, I, I've got a better way. I've got a better way. Hmm. Yeah. Well, well, the thing is the, the warm list works, which is why I train my team to do it, build their list and do all that stuff as far as network marketing goes. But without going into that too much, I train them to do it the traditional way. And then I say, if you want to step up and hit the cold market with me, Mm -hmm. I have a boot camp. You're invited. You may not last. It's not for everybody, but it's the most lucrative way to build an organization. If there you, you can take no and not care and just go like this and keep going, you're going to make <sighs> dream money. So, okay, again, so, so, yeah. online, so, so transitioning to online marketing, when yeah. you got involved in network marketing, you already knew that you were going to be getting online and hitting the cold market. Uh, this is not online. This is in the malls and shopping malls and gyms. No, I'm about to get to online really okay. quick. So here's what I did. I start. I, I didn't even know what a lead was. I'm not kidding. And I'll tell you how this came up. I started just, uh, well, harassing people at work. I, har I harass people at work all the time. I go in, I go, you got to try this out, man. I'll call you tomorrow or I'll come in your cubicle tomorrow. There ain't no phone call. Try this out. You'll lose some weight. What's, what's in it? What's it about? I, I go, I don't know much. I just know that I'm losing weight on it. If you just do me a favor, try it out. And like they'd see, they'd run the other way if I was coming to their queue. <laughs> but I did it. Norbert, Norbert, there was a point where I had my little computer satchel, like my laptop bag. I used to fill it with samples. I was dressed up in a suit, right? I was a consultant. I used to go to bars after work and strum up conversations and kind of sneak it in there, get cars, get numbers. So I did that at the gym. People would run away from me at the gym, but some people were open, right? You yeah. know how it is. Yeah, yeah. you'll always, exactly. It's a numbers yeah. game, they say, right? Yeah, and I was talking to 20, 30 people a day in real life, though, at the mall, getting in lineups and weaseling my way into conversations. But check this out. 
I did this for six months and I was making 10 grand a month residually. There you go. So it works. It yeah, works. absolutely. And here's, here's what you're waiting for. When did online marketing come up? Well, yeah. this is when online marketing came up. I, I could not break 20 grand a month for the, for the likes of me. Like getting to 10 grand was cool, but I was taking a pay cut here. Well, right. first of all, in the six months, as soon as I made 10 grand a month, I said, see you later, wouldn't want to be. I just left left my job. I left it in a pretty cool way, kind of Ooh. almost like Justice Egan, if you've seen his video. Yeah, of course. I, I, I didn't film it. I didn't film it, but it was something of that nature. And I took half my pay because it was 10 grand a month. And there was a lot of things I didn't really know about network marketing because I did this in six months. I didn't know anything. Yeah. But I was able to climb up those leaderboards doing it the old fashioned way. And people were asking me, so how are you doing with leads? I'm like, leads? Well, yeah, you're like number one. You just won that uh, the contest last month for the most shakes sold or the most acquisition of promoters. I'm like, dude, I go in shopping malls. I go in gyms. They're like, what? He goes, you got no leads? I go, what are you talking about leads? Did somebody, it leads to the crime? Did somebody, do I know who killed the guy? Like, that's how green I was from online marketing. I had no idea. So here's how this happened. The people that I was observing, such as yourself, people like yourself, I, I find them on YouTube because I was looking at the hundred grand a month has for the longest time has been my dream. Mm -hmm. Now, you know how your goals get bigger as you get higher? Yeah, at the yeah. time, at the time, a hundred grand a month was my dream, and I was busting my my butt to stay at twenty grand a month. And you know as well as I do, new blood is the lifeblood of any network marketing organization. Yeah. You've got to keep bringing them in for two reasons. Well, for two reasons that I can relate to. Number one, you never know when you're going to find that rock star. You just don't. And it could be the least expected person. And number two, to lead by example, once you start, when you, once you get out of the trenches, you're done. Yeah. Like your, your team doesn't follow. I don't know. That's just, that's the way it is. This is the way it is. So here we go. Here, here's, here was my dilemma. I'm like, I got to find a way to keep bringing people in on autopilot so I could focus my time on training my team instead of always going out and just have them come in. And this is when I found out about attraction marketing. Didn't mm -hmm. know what it meant. The, and got, buddy, this is like last year. Last year when I found the lead system, my lead system pro. And I'll tell you how I found it. So funny is I'm watching YouTube videos. There were people making a hundred grand a month. And it's like they were doing a couple of webinars here and a couple of webinars there. And I'm like, okay, there's something I'm doing wrong. Because I'm I'd make 18 grand, 22 grand. 17 grand and I had to work just to, I couldn't break past that 20 and I wanted that hundred and I'm like, I'm done. I got to figure out what they're doing. I'm done trying to figure out being a, you know, mad scientist and try and figure out how it's done. So I observed, I observed, I observed. Then it, one video changed my life. I won't say the name, but let's just say it's a leader within my lead system pro just doing a random YouTube video. And he was saying how he knew nothing of online marketing. At this point, I knew I had to learn online marketing. Mm -hmm. but, but in his video, he mentioned attraction marketing. I go, that's interesting. What, like what? People are just going to come? So it sounds like to me, like attraction. I'm attracting them. So I, I kept listening. And then he, as he was talking in his YouTube video, he said MLSP. And he didn't sell it or talk about it. He just said I knew nothing about online marketing until MLSP and now the guy was making millions per year. And I'm like, I pause. I remember just pausing the YouTube video and going to Google. I think I put in MSRP or MRSP. I'm like, what is it again? I had to go back MLSP. So I punched it in and it, there was a mastery level and I just, I had no idea what it was. I said, I don't really care what it is. I'm just going to do it. And that's how it started. Okay. Just that, that was the moment where my life, it became dreamlike. And uh, I don't know, did you want to ask me something before I tell you how I started generating leads or. I, I think, I think I'm just going to let you keep going. Let's, let's, okay. let's okay. Because that's where, when I got into my lead system pro, I didn't even know there was, I had no sponsor, obviously. 
I just found, I searched it. I found it. I signed up. I'm like my sponsor is my lead system pro. They're my, they're my upline. So I had nobody to ask questions to. I'm not saying I'm smart. I'm saying I really, really, really wanted my hundred grand a month. Mm -hmm. And if you really, really, really want something, you're just going to put in the work. You're going to figure it out. Yeah. You're going to figure it out. You're just going to dig and dig. I didn't even know there was an MLSP group, a community. I had nobody to ask. But as soon as I saw just that training library and just those Wednesday webinars, that's how it all began. I watched my first one. Diane Hawkman did it. And I was just like jaw dropped. I was like, I, this is it. This is where I need to be. I'm an education junkie. Every dollar I've ever made was because of everything I've learned in school. I'm not, I know you don't just push a button and get rich. Come on. If you think that, you're probably in the wrong field altogether. You have to build your skills. So then I just, all I did for the first two weeks, webinars, webinars, the Tuesday, the, the wake up calls. And then those wake up calls would trigger ideas to what YouTube videos to search. And check this out. It took me three weeks to get one lead. And I remember the day when I got that lead, I'm like, and there was no phone number. I was like, yes. So I went, I replied to that lead and it was a fake email. <laughs> and, like, and I wasn't even using my content. I was using lever. And I'm like, ah, oh. the normal person would have quit. Not the, the average person would have quit for sure. How and frustrating. I, yeah. Right. Oh. So all I did was I kept studying, kept going, kept going. I picked one strategy. I ran with it. For me, it was free Facebook. Mm -hmm. I should have probably went for paid stuff, but I just, before I, before I went for paid stuff, I just wanted to prove to myself that this works, I guess. Mm -hmm. So I started doing Facebook and it took me probably another couple of months to generate 10 leads per day. Mm -hmm. And for the, for the people watching this that are like, Oh, I thought you generate hundreds of leads. I do. But let me tell you guys something, 10 qualified targeted leads per day where five of them leave a phone number, that, ladies and gentlemen, is life-changing. That is, that's it, yeah, that's, absolutely. And I, and I was like, I remember when I got my first number, I think three calls, because I didn't know how to close yet. I didn't know how, not close, I didn't know how, I didn't know what questions to ask, which would probably be a good time to give props to one of my mentors, Mr. Bill Pesco Solito, never met the dude. I know you know him, he's your first guest. Absolutely. That, that everything I know, I watch that guy probably once a week in some way, shape or form. He, he's, he's such a good, uh, he's great on the phone. He asks the perfect questions. And it's almost like I, I kind of relate to him in certain ways. He sold Kirby vacuums. I sold Kirby vacuums. It's just like a lot of the stuff he says, I'm like, I get you, man. I get it. And since I started using his stuff, the leads, I was converting them, and then magic started happening. I mean, I'm from doing from doing ten leads per Facebook through Facebook. I said, okay, now it's time to play around with another platform. Don't don't go everywhere until you're generating ten leads. Every every leader says it. Exactly. If you're doing shiny object syndrome, you'll get zero leads. You just will. Focus yep. on. What, and I'm not making this up. You know this. Everyone says this. Absolutely. Focus. Get results. Once you have results, you either scale or or then try another strategy. Yeah. Bingo. So I was doing Facebook. And what the thing with Facebook is when it comes to free Facebook, uh, Facebook leads that I get are the most convertible. They convert the best. And keep in mind, this is before I had content, okay? I didn't do content for four months. I didn't have a blog. And I'll tell you guys how I got to 100 leads a day with no blog, no content, no videos. And again, this should be very encouraging for those of you out there that are just starting. I'm not saying don't do a blog. I'm not saying don't do content. If you want to hit the big time, you got to do that. But what I'm saying is while you're getting all that together, why not make a check meanwhile? Why not have a check coming in anyways? Because it's not that hard. If you have a third party tool, if you have an affiliate link, if you have something that you can offer someone, even if it's not your face, you leverage what people have done. Yeah. 
it's, it's instant money. And I'm telling you, they're instant checks. So let's go back to the leads real quick because without leads, you have nobody to call. I understand you have to convert leads. You have to be good at converting them. You have to ask the right questions. But without leads, you have you, you, those skills won't help you any. Mm-hmm. So I think I got a little addicted maybe too much addicted to generating leads because I was, uh, every time leads would come in, I, I had my, I turned off the notifications for the interview today, by the way, because <laughs> they just go all the time now. But what I'm saying is when leads start coming in, I was getting almost like an adrenaline rush. So I'm like, I want to break the hundred leads. I want to break 200 leads. And, and I wasn't focusing on conversion, but I'm going to jump right into my second strategy because my second strategy is where the, uh, my, my lead machine came into play. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And when I say lead machine, uh, I don't want you guys to think that I'm uh, making this up or I don't want you guys to, I'm going to give you guys a loaned disclaimer right now. Because I do things a certain way, doesn't mean you have to do them this way. All leaders do things differently. And I believe we should play on our strengths, right? What our strengths are. Absolutely agree, yeah. So, so with myself, when it comes to building a relationship, I got to get on the telephone. It's my thing. I mean, I can I, I could use Twitter all day long and say, "Hey, what kind what's your favorite color? What's your favorite number?" I could do that all day long, but it's not real until I get on the phone. Mm. So what I do, social media, right, to be social, well, here's where I'm different. I use the internet to build lead machines. Now, once someone puts in their name and they're interested, well, now we have something to work with. Now I'll get on the phone with you. But I just don't have time to spend all day chit-chatting and saying, you keep your options open type of stuff over there. I'm going to ask you that on the phone. But... I was more, and a lot of people disagree, Norbert. They're like, social media is meant for social activity. You should build a relationship online. I'm like, you go ahead. You go ahead. But there's no way you can, if it can be done faster, I'm not saying get rich quick here, but I'm saying there are ways to get rich quicker. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm, I'm all for, I'm all for, you know, lead machines, qualifying people. And if you're going to get on the phone, you get on the phone with qualified prospects. Totally down with that. Absolutely, man. Like when I was generating, like I, I, I don't know if you've seen it. I did a CRM thing in the My Lead System Pro to extract phone numbers off people who don't leave them. Mm. And I've, I've, I've kind of tailored that so well that I get like 70% phone numbers now of people leaving, filling in capture pages or they won't fill anything in. And to be honest with you, I rather they just go elsewhere if they're not going to leave me their phone number, just because, because I don't have to. Get, yeah, because the the phone getting on the telephone is a is a main part of your strategy. Absolutely. Oh, for me it is, and I mean I pre-qualify them big time, but I guess what I'm saying is that with Twitter, I, I and this is what I'll be sharing with you guys by the way in the premium section. I'm not only going to tell you how I do it or what I do. There's a little, a little promotion here, but I'm telling you, I'm going to bring you back in my Twitter account. We're going to do this stuff live and in front of your own eyes, I pretty well guarantee you'll see me generate leads right there. Be, oh, there's Sandy. I'll give her a call later. So it'll be like, it, you'll see me doing it live. It's a fly on the wall in the money making dungeon here. I call this the money making dungeon, but here's what I want to say about the Twitter is that I... I guess I built, I, I, I figured out a way and I had to kind of figure out a lot of these things because they're not being done. And like I said earlier, I think I said earlier, oh, no, we were off the air. I said, which you guys didn't hear yet, I like to take something that works. I like, to, you don't want to reinvent from scratch, yeah. but once I find something that works, I can't help it. I'm like, how can I make this better? Mm-hmm. How can I just tweak it a little bit? And believe me, guys, I try everything. And sometimes it works, it goes horribly wrong. But what happens if it goes horribly wrong? I just revert to what I was doing. No harm. No harm. I just go back to what works. But sometimes you hit something big. And it's like, ha ha. I didn't see that one coming. And sometimes it's the things you expect the least to work. They work. You kind of find them out by accident. So being a programmer, 
for 18 years and being it, the love of my life, I look for little tricks, little hacks. And with Twitter, I found, I found some pretty serious ones. Um, just to give you an idea, just through Twitter alone, I generate, I pretty well break 100 leads, and that's autopilot leads, though. These just come in all the time, every day, just ding, 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 through different capture pages. I'll make this clear, too. They're not all for uh, my lead system pro. As a matter of fact, I'll probably say this right now, because I heard Bill Pesco Salido say this in his first, in your first interview. Because mm -hmm. he, he used to be a network marketer, I believe. Then he got more into affiliate marketing. Yes. And then you have people like Mark Harbert that create a lot of products. Yep. And then you, so everyone's got their own thing. I, I'm a network marketer. I'm not an affiliate marketer. I make a ton of money off affiliate products, but that just comes with the territory. Right. You know, if someone's already in an MLM, I'll be like, well, how are you doing generating leads? And they always say I'm not. Well, then check out. Here's my link. And they'll sign up or they won't, but it's not my primary focus. Mm -hmm. so, so with that being said, the leads I generate are for different uh, purposes. Mm -hmm. It's not just all for one thing. And I guess, I guess what I want to say is that today, because I've built these skills, and the reason I'm teaching Twitter to you guys is simply because I'm going to give you the numbers. I got, I got them right here. I have seven sources of getting leads. I could have talked about converting guys today, but I looked at some of your interviews, Norbert, and you've got some of the converting geniuses on here mm -hmm. look, look who you've had on and i'm um, people start calling people call me the lead machine alone all that stuff so i figured let's get you some leads then you could find how to get bill pesco solitos little shout out to him get his prospecting playbook or check out his content in here i got to give the guy a shout out I, I learned all my conversion stuff from him Absolutely. Yeah. So let's focus. Let's focus on getting those leads in the door. And you're definitely a master of that. Seven different strategies. You know, we're talking about, you know, days where you're bringing in 300 leads a day. So break this down for us here, because I, I find this really interesting. I don't see a lot of people really leveraging Twitter the way that you have. So yeah. give us the numbers here. Give us the breakdown. Yeah, that's why I charge so much for my Twitter coaching. And you guys are getting it from this guy here. There you go. Thank him. Okay, well, here, here, here are the, uh, just really quick, these are my seven, uh, I'll read them off to you, my seven, uh, the seven ways I get leads. Yeah. As, uh, so I got Facebook, I got YouTube and SEO number two, Instagram, Twitter, webinars, interviews and trainings, and the organic random or referrals. They're the best, by the way. These are the people that come and seek you out as, you they, out. as they say, I had to hunt you down. What's your sign up link? They're, they're my favorite. They happen all the time. When someone told me that real quick, when someone told me that in the beginning, you'll just get automatic signups. I'm like, BS. I don't believe you, but it's true. It happens. So Facebook, 10% of my leads come through Facebook. YouTube and SEO, 10% only again. But keep in mind, these are 10% off two, 300 leads. Right. 10% is a lot of leads. A lot of leads, yeah. Instagram, I'm just getting my, my I'm just getting uh, the hang of Instagram, the 10% from Instagram, 20, 30 leads a day on Instagram, still very good, they're free. All this is free leads, just so you know. Webinars, 5%, interviews and trainings, 5%, organic and rand random people that come to me on Facebook and say I had to hunt you down, 10%, Twitter, 50%. Wow. So this is why it's important to talk about Twitter. And I don't know, I think it's worth me just really quickly just to explaining something here. I don't do, again, let alone the disclaimer, you don't have to do what I do here, but I don't do the auto, uh, you auto. know, you post something and then you say, share it everywhere. Right. I don't do it because there are different rules for different platforms, guys. Like you can follow a certain amount of people. I use reciprocation a lot, follow on follows through Twitter and Instagram, completely different. And obviously the content's completely different. Twitter has twi uh, clickable links in the tweets. Instagram doesn't. Different calls to actions. Even on YouTube, it's, it's all native content that I do. Uh, I'm not going to show you too fast because I don't want to know doing a screenshot of this secret, but... I have, this is basically 
my syndication process for immortal content. And again, this isn't about immortal content, but if your content's not immortal, if you're doing a periscope and then that's it, that's all, I'll do a new one tomorrow and it just dwindles away, you're wasting your time. Absolutely. You need to package this. You've got to have your intro, your question, your content, your call to action. I'm reading it because this comes from Mr. Ray Higdon, which who again I haven't met. All of these people, like I'll be starstruck when I go to live the dream. I know it. But uh, I, I don't know. I, I got thrown off here because I wanted to say that Twitter is one of the strategies that is literally autopilot. Mm. Facebook. Facebook is not. Instagram is not. Webinars are not, well, not yet, not yet. Yeah. There's a way to do it there. I'm figuring out how to web. I'm, I've been in this business one year, guys. And I haven't even sent my results. I get between 100 and 300 leads per day, and I bring in five people per day personally in my MLM. There. That's the why should you listen to me part that I left there. There we go. There we go. And all of that, just one year online marketing. Now, Mark, I'm going to have to, I mean, we could, we could chat here for a good hour and we're going to continue this conversation, the premium session. Um, we're going to open up, you know, you're going to open up the, the doors to your office there and literally take us inside your business, walk us through some of your funnels, actually show us how you generate leads on faith on, on Twitter, which I'm really excited about because there's really not a lot of people doing it, um, especially as successfully as you are. Um, but Mark, an incredible story of, you know, simply perseverance, doing what it takes and taking action on what you learn. I love your passion. I love your enthusiasm and, and, and I love your, you know, your, your strategic approach to this. Um, what I would love for you to do is just synthesize all of this and leave for our viewers and listeners three key tips, three key things that have helped you in your journey as an entrepreneur and as an online marketer specifically that people can take away right now, make sure they implement these three things so they can break through to the next level in their business. And, and, then, and then we're gonna get into the premium session and walk right into your Twitter account. Awesome, there are so many, but if I had to pick three, number one is have a, have a DMO and have your DMO on paper, man. Like, I mean, don't just say, okay, I'm going to follow 200 people in the morning and then I'm, it has to be on paper and I, I don't have it with me. It's on my, in my calendar, but have check boxes and check them off, check them off. And your DMO is simple. If, if you're in my lead system, DMO, just because I know there will be the question daily method of operations. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of different ones and my lead system pro happens to have a very good one. But what you're going to find is this is where your strengths come in. Mm -hmm. like you put in and you have your own check boxes. It'll, it'll be your own. But generally speaking, you're inviting people to take a look at something and following up. That's mm -hmm. basically, really, that's, that's it. Whether you're doing it through a video or whether you're doing it through, it's going to be through videos. Let's face it, blog posts with videos. That's, that's how I do it. And I mean, that's just exploding my business. Got to keep it short here. Number now, can, one, I, can, can we, could we jump in really quickly and have you share with us your specific DMO? Yes, I have it here somewhere. Um, just to uh, give people an idea, just to give people an idea. And again, you don't want to do Lalon disclaimer. You don't need to do it exactly the way Mark's doing it. No. It's about ha creating your own, but just as an example. Okay, I'm going to tell you guys right now, um, just right off the bat, I work... Uh, maybe I shouldn't say that. I, I have a brick and mortar business. So like this not online, th this network marketing thing, sure, whatever, 100 grand a month, all that stuff is nice. But I also have a, I have a bigger dream because this residual income is to fuel my big dream. I'm just going to say that because my DMO, just because it's only eight hours long, well, that's just because means half my day is for this. I work 16 hours. Um, so, and a lot of the stuff in my DMO is virtual assistants that are doing it. Mm -hmm. But let's start with a reci reciprocation. First thing I do in the morning is I have a certain amount of time where I do reciprocation activities. Now, what that is, is following people and hope they follow back. Follow, unfollow, follow, unfollow. You'll see a lot of my stuff. I do that because if people are interested, you'll see in my Twitter and the stuff I do in my Twitter training I do the Instagram too. So uh, uh, 
there's, I believe it's two hours of that, but keep in mind, I follow up to 10,000 people a day. Okay. And I'll show you how I do that in the Twitter thing. I've learned to scale Twitter. I have over a million followers combined now, a couple of dozen accounts. Don't go doing that. And I'll explain that because you'll get, you'll end up in jail real fast. But I'm just telling you, the reason that takes two hours of my time is because, and again, I have virtual assistants, but I'll talk to you like I don't. So two hours is a lot of manual clicking, guys. May suck, but how much is 200 leads a day worth to you? Mm -hmm. Is sitting at a computer for two hours worth 100 leads of new people looking to join your business? I sure hope so, because you can eventually get a VA to do that, and that's easy to do. So two hours for that. Um, I spent one hour packaging the content that I did the previous night from Periscope. Mm -hmm. So what's going to happen? I got an, uh, an hour later at night, every 7 p.m. every night I have a Periscope. That's another hour in my DMO. I'm kind of scattering it, but it, that the order could change depending on the day. Sometimes I drag boxes in my calendar depending. Mm -hmm. And then a full hour reaching out to new people on Facebook. Now that I call it the app, the Facebook hour, and I rarely have Facebook open anymore. It's dangerous, man. Oh, so dangerous. Oh, it's a killer. It's a dream crusher. So when I have my hour of Facebook, I reach out to people on Facebook very strategically. I don't spam links and all that stuff. It's I'm filling my Facebook funnel. And again, this is a training on its own. I don't want to go on and on, but. For my DMO, it's one hour of Facebook reaching out. My my question mark strategy. <laughs> Always end with a question mark. Eventually, they're going to ask you what you do, and the rest is history. Nothing's going to happen for two or three months. You're just going to build friends and friends and friends. You keep that sucker going. You'll wake up in the morning, and you'll have 20 people ask you, what is it that you do again? It's so powerful. Patience. Um, what else is in my DMO? Um, that's pretty good. My DMO is weird because I'm, if I'm not healthy, if I'm not healthy, I'm not successful, period. My brain won't work if I don't work out, if I don't eat properly. So yes, every meal is in my DMO. It's time to grow, grab your protein shake. I know this sounds kind of like, I don't want to, I don't care about that. But I'll tell you guys something. Richard Branson was interviewed. If you don't know who Richard Branson is. Well, you, ju you just do. If you don't, you're not from this planet. He was asked in an interview. I don't even know if it was Larry King, Tony Robbins. I don't know, but you can look it up. He was asked if he was like, if he had to start over completely dead broke, what's the first thing he would do to get back on his feet? Because the first thing I would do would be work out, get my physical activity going. Would you believe that? So that's my DMO. I mean, I, I work out three times a week with weights. So, so, I mean, the rest I would share with you, but they're kind of secret things. That's, <laughs> Maybe that's I'll fair share them in the back office. Yeah, yeah, that's that's fair enough. But it gives us it gives us an idea, and and, and again, it goes back to a lot of the basics that we've talked about in a lot of the interviews. Um, you know, creating content. Yeah. Right. So your, your Periscope is your way of creating content and then you're repurposing that content, which is just yeah. art yeah. and uh, then reaching out and growing your audience by whatever activities that you're doing. And again, you've, you've got specific activities to do that. Uh, you're generating leads through your sales funnels and then you're following up with people and keeping in touch with them. And those are really the basics. And as long as you've got those basic fundamentals and you're doing them daily, um, no matter how you specifically choose to do them, that's how you're going to grow your business. So I think that's, I, I think that's actually huge. That's actually a really excellent example to share with people and yeah. to help them get that into their business. So Mark, we could sit here for another hour mm -hmm. chat with you. You're an absolutely fascinating individual and, uh, I'm, I'm, I, I just want to tap into your brain. Honestly, I, you know, I've been doing this industry for nearly 10 years, but I feel like there's so much to learn from you because you're such an avid student um, of this game and, and you know so much and you've, you've kept up on everything. Um, you know, you're one of those kind of like genius engineers that you just want to, oh, can I just get some of that stuff in your brain? <laughs> 
this has been this has been a real treat, a real pleasure, Mark. Really appreciate you sharing with us, you know, to kind of taking us, giving us a little peek into your into your mind and into your business. Um, and I'm really excited for you to take our members and kind of open up the doors and, and show us exactly uh, what you do. So first of all, Mark, I want to thank you for giving up your time because uh, I know you've got a busy day ahead of you. You've got lots on your plate. So I want to really thank you for taking the time to share with us. And and uh, and, and help. I know this is going to help a lot of people that are listening here. So really appreciate this. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, my friend. It's been a pleasure. Awesome. Fantastic. Mark Lalonde, the wealthy trainer. We're going to have a couple of links down below where you can get in contact with Mark and, and check out some of the things that he's uh, he's been working on and doing. Uh, again, thank you for being here and for checking out another episode of the Online Playmaker Sessions where we bring you the top marketers and rising stars every single week. And in our premium membership, we take you inside their business where they open up their marketing playbooks. You definitely want to check that out. All right, everyone. Thanks very much. Take care. We'll see you next week. I hope you enjoyed this week's Playmaker session. If you love the session, subscribe now to our YouTube channel so you never miss our weekly episodes. Be sure to also subscribe to the podcast on iTunes. Just type in online playmakers in the search bar and click subscribe and be sure to leave a five-star review. All of the episodes, show notes, transcripts, resources, and bonuses are available on the blog over at onlineprofitplaybook.com along with several bonus free tutorials I've created for you as well. Your fast track to results is to follow the playmakers. You can download their closely guarded playbooks and follow them step by step to grow your influence, build your audience, and create results in your business right now. Head over to onlineprofitplaybook.com and join the playmakers to get full access today. Thank you again for joining us today and be sure to tune in next week as we bring you another power-packed session with the top playmakers online. This is Norbert Orlowitz signing off.